Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is a little different than most of my garden tours. Today I'll be introducing you to Autumn, who is my oldest daughter and has been growing her own garden and has been inspired by my channel and of course what we do in our backyard. And she wanted to share her garden and hopes to inspire other children to start small, start with uh, cuttings from their parents' garden, from their succulents, that is what she has been doing. Um, we have been buying tiny, inexpensive items at the dollar store, and she's been able to create this cute little garden. So today, I'm finally letting her do a quick little garden tour of her garden, and I hope you guys enjoy, get your kids, um, invite some other children to watch, and hopefully you'll be inspired by her garden and she is totally in control of this. She's in charge of watering, taking care of it, keeping up with it. So I've been really proud of her and here we go. Hello everybody and today I'm going to show you a tour of Little Southern Dirt. My name is Autumn Sodrell, the daughter of Miss Summer Sodrell and I'm gonna show you my garden, so let's go. I'm going to show you my pathway that I made creatively. I have a little friendship stone that says, Friends are the flowers in the garden of life. Um, and first I have my succulents set in right here. Where'd you get all the succulents from? Um, some of them I grew and some of them I didn't grow. Some, you got a lot of them from cuttings from my succulents and grew them yourself. Yeah, kind of like that. Yep. And this is really cool thing about succulents is when you snip it off, because like you, it was like turning a different way. My succulent was like that, so I turned it, I snipped it off, and I just set it right here, and it's still alive. Yeah, it's starting to grow new ones. Isn't that cool, huh? And I have my beans. Yesterday, I snipped all of them off, and I got seeds from them. And um, I don't have—I don't think I have any more green yeah. ones. But I do have a—that's when it's ready to um, get out seeds, and you can plant them. And what do you plan on doing with your seeds that you're saving? I'm gonna sell them. I'm gonna have my own business, like my mom. Fun! I'm very proud of you. This is so inspiring. I think you're gonna inspire other kids to be just like you. Um, and now I have my other succulents and I have my pineapple that um, I snipped, my mom gave me um, that she snipped off of a, um, other pineapple. And From the grocery grow. store, yeah. And you already got roots. Let's, let's take it out of the pot. I want them to see the roots. You probably haven't even seen these roots yet. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know it was growing roots. Yeah, that's what plants do. Isn't that cool? Cool. <laughs> okay, and I have some other succulents. And this one is um, sprouting flowers. I think um, if you snip this one off, it can mm -hmm. you can plant it in dirt. Like you can just lay it down. Yeah, to make more. Grow. We've got lots of potential for more succulents there. And I have my really cool zinnia flowers. They're growing everywhere around the blueberry plants as well. Um, and you just sprinkled them on the ground. Yeah, I pretty yep. much did. <laughs> and these ones I did sprinkle on the ground as well because they're all different kinds. If you look back here, there's some. Ooh. And this is a new type of flower. Ooh. They're sprouting. This one's a little bit wet, so it just kind of went down. Yeah. And they're sprout sprouting as well. These are like as tall as you at this moment. This one's almost as tall. Yeah. I wonder what these are going to be like, what they're going to look like. They're going to look like these. You think? Yeah. And I have some different colored ones. I have white ones over here. This is like a, a butterfly bird mix, right? We just yeah. sprinkled it on the ground. And what do you plan with doing with the dead flowers? Oh, yeah. I've been, um, every day I've been looking at them and I've been snipping them out and that can be a seed. You can plant them, like that's a ton of them and you mm -hmm. can plant them all again. Yeah. So, cool. so you've been saving them and putting them in a little bag. We should be putting them on a plate and let them dry. Yeah, I've been putting and them. And then we'll make our own little mix 
and make our own. Some. Yeah. <laughs> Start saving some money, huh? Okay. So now we're going to go over here. This is one of my favorite plants because it's my favorite color. We found it on clearance, which my mom loves me saying. <laughs> um, so it's been growing and it's gotten even bigger and I love that. Yes, how much did we pay for this plant? I think it was four dollars. Yeah. And it's all we did to give it some loving and it's coming back. It's sprouting all kinds of new beautiful purple leaves too. Yeah. Yes. When I grow up, I'm going to go to the store, and if I don't have any plants, and if I move out of this house, I'm just going to go and buy clearance plants. Clearance plants, that's where it's at. <laughs> so, this is my life business. When I get older, I'm going to sell fairy gardens. My mom said we're going to do homeschool next year, and she said, pick a thing that you're going to do um, for a job when you grow up. So, I said that we're going to do fairy, uh, fairy gardens and... Like, I'm gonna, when I grow up, I think I would sell this one for 10 or five, mm -hmm. five mm -hmm. for 10. <laughs> June thought she should sell hers for 20. Yes, I love how you guys are getting so creative. They have their own little fairy garden over here and they've been kind of coming over and, and gathering little things and making um, little stone pathways. They've even <laughs> took a tire that. off brother's <laughs> old truck and tied it there. So I really like seeing them be creative and making their own little fairy gardens. And um, I think that's going to be a project for homeschool is they're going to uh, figure out what, how much money they're putting into building these fairy gardens and selling them and then do a nice little poster board of how they're marketing their business oh, and yeah. how they're selling. Home today. Yeah, perfect. So we're going to make that a whole business project. Here's another flower and these are one of my favorite flowers because Ooh. there's a ton of them at its clearance, two dollars. <laughs> Fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I love about these flowers is that when you pick them, I like to do that sometimes to make potions. Um, I pick them and then there's a ton of flowers on them and they're all mixed together and I love that. So yeah. And here's another one of my favorite flowers. It's a purple again. Mm -hmm. And so mommy loves dead. purple too. But they have been growing back, so. so hey, that's a that's a lot of potential to saving seeds for those too. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about those. Yeah. Cool. So this is the last plant. I've been growing this one for a very very long time, and it's been sprouting flowers. It's it's got a little dead, but I've been picking seeds out of them, and they're all play over in the pantry right now. All right. Cool. Well, I really enjoyed the garden tour today, Autumn. I think we missed one of the plants over here. You've got a couple right here. Oh, yeah. And that one, that's Mom. fine. And then um, over here, we have some uh, longevity spinach. You probably don't even know it's there because it's got some weeds going on, but Mommy, we can eat that. Right oh yeah, and that just kind of fell and got lost along the way. <laughs> so awesome. Well, thank you for the tour. Um, so thank you for watching Little Southern Dirt. That is going to, when I grow up, I'm going to make videos like my mom and you will see them. <laughs> I love that. You, that makes my heart happy. I love you. Bye. You did a great job.